Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with My Hero Academia season 6 episode number 19 reaction. Alright, uh, the previous episode uh, we got to see uh, in Deku was kind of like in an unconscious state. However, inside of him he was talking to the vestiges. He met like almost all of them. Two of them were not showing their faces, looking on the other direction. However, most of them he met and uh, they had a conversation. And uh, here uh, the original, the, the brother, he, like, you know, the brother of all, uh, like, you know, uh, one for all, no, uh, all for one, sorry, uh, the brother of all for one, he, um, he told, he told Deku the speciality about this quirk, how a few others were able to realize that uh, this quirk is something that is going to, like, you know, kind of reduce the lifespan if they already have quirk, so, uh, like, All Might and Deku, are like the first people who didn't have any quirk they were quirkless and that's why they were able to like you know uh, take in this quirk even better and there won't be any kind of like you know repercussions on their lifespan on because of that and uh, that's like an interesting thing he kind of explained it by talking about how there's like a cup inside of its water if it's already filled it might spill it and break the cup otherwise since uh, all for one uh, all might and deku are empty they can properly fill the quirk in and uh, they won't have any trouble the glass won't crack and uh, all these things and uh, you know like they had a, uh, like, you know they could had a conversation with nana and nana asked him will he have the um uh like you know, will he be able to actually kill uh, shigaraki if if like you know that type of situation comes and deku says how he wants to save him you know all that stuff and uh, yeah that was what was happening with deku here on the other side uh endeavor went to the press conference and he explained every told everyone that everything is because of me you know don't bother the other heroes all fall lives within me and we'll try our best to help you guys out and they're making some changes they're bringing in the parents uh of the heroes you know they, they the, who are all the of, of all the students into the dorm so that there's like maximum security and stuff and they're reducing the area so that they won't have to spread their people all over the place and you know these type of changes they're making however in the end <clears throat> we get to see Deku wrote a letter and actually told about his quirk to all the you know all his friends told about his quirk and said that you guys might be targeted so I'm going away and uh, yeah like and he's he's off on his own and that's where it ended so let's see what happens uh, episode number 19 let us begin i'll be putting the subtitles on the timer here think it whichever is your preference and let's get started okay here's the countdown three two one go <clears throat> there you go yeah i f i f i feel like it's about time <sighs> yeah, Minata says mm. Mm. April, okay. Hmm. I am not here, damn. Lawless area, good God. And yeah, he's putting on his mask and going. And he'll be going and fighting the villains on his own. I'm guessing. Yeah.
Okay. Oh boy, here we go. Diana police station. Oh wait, these guys are back. I don't remember the names at all. Yo Shindo. Yo, I'm gonna call him Yo. <laughs> Tatami Nagakame Ah uh. Heh <laughs> I don't think that's gonna work Yeah Yo <laughs> Wait yo <laughs> Uh What the? Oh, these are the people. Oh, they won't budge. What the? Yeah, well, you you're all gonna die by the end of it. Like, what these what are these guys thinking? Hmm. Yeah, you think you're gonna fight against a gnome? These guys won't listen. They won't listen. Is that a frog? I don't think that's gonna work here. Yeah. Yeah, because people are blaming them. What the else do you expect from them? They're gonna run away. What? Oh my god. Well, great. Do, do whatever you want to. <laughs> you say, nope, I'm not having it. Mock up there. Oh no, no moon. Is it a normal? It's a normal. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no, it's muscular. Oh my god. Oh no, this is bad. This is even worse than normal. Oh no. Why? Okay. Oh no, it won't work. This guy's muscles are too much. What happened to his face? It looks weird. Why is his face like that? Yeah, you think you, you can fight him? Oh my god, these guys are stupid. These guys are stupid. Like what, what the hell do you think? What is wrong with these guys? You think you can fight him? Look at him! Oh god, yeah. You, you can fight him, you think you can fight this guy? Oh my god. I forgot what- oh he can vibrate, yeah yeah he said that. It won't work. Yeah, exactly. Ugh. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay, it's kind of working.
Oh no, great. Mm. Oh boy. Whoa, what the? Who was that? Wait, who was that? Oh, it's, it's Deku! Damn! Oh well, Deku's gotten way stronger than before, you know? I don't think you can go against him. Alright, he's gonna get beaten up. Bad. He's not gonna run away. Yeah, I guess... Ooh. Well, I feel like he's gonna get beaten up bad. Surely Deku's way stronger than that that time. Okay, what's with this smoke? What's this smoke? Okay. Well, uh, yeah, you you know him. Oh, is this his power? Ah, oh. oh, his power smoke screen. Ah. Uh. Wait, what does this smoke do then? Like, is it like... Ah... So you need to combine them together. Yeah, like, smoke skin can just hide you for a moment. But no, you're way stronger than before. I feel like he can take care of him. Alright. Alright, here he is. Danger sensing. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Oh, nice. Yeah, he doesn't care. This guy's actual scum. This guy. Muscular. Well, he is... Oh god. All right. No oh boy. Now nah, this guy's irredeemable, but yeah. True, true.
Oh, wait. Oh, his. Okay. Oh, that's why. Oh, because of the vibrate. Oh, oh, come on. 45. Oh, is it over? It's over. Yeah, it's over. Okay, there you go. Oh, these boomerang man, Mr. Smith. Oh, nice. Oh, Deck was going. Yep. Well, thank God you guys are actually come back to your senses. <clears throat> yeah, did he recognize him? Yeah, he recognized him. Hmm. All right, here we go. Special delivery. Okay. Iron Maiden. Oh. Muscular. Time to clean up the city again. Let's go. <laughs> oh. All right, nice. Wait, he's keeping in contact with All Might? Oh, okay, I was not expecting that. I thought he like completely just... Alright, I was not expecting this. Damn. <laughs> All Might is like his manager. <laughs> uh. Oh. Ah. Nice. Okay. Okay, okay, that's why he, he used 45, okay. Yup, Shigaraki is the main... <sighs> Good God. Yeah! Oh, Hawks. Oh, they also know that... Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so he's kind of working with a few of them, like, not completely solo. Alright, oh, that's better. I was... Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Okay. Few days earlier. Oh, he was still in the. Okay, okay. Alright, that's good. Seem to escape out of the body. Okay. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Nice. Yeah, I guess. Oh boy, here we go.
Okay, here we go. Ooh, that's... Well... Uh, true, true. Okay. Yeah, he's like, I wasn't able to do anything. Okay, there you go, so. All right. <laughs> hmm. Why is it? Yeah, what is this? <laughs> oh. Ah, no! <laughs> oh, Grand Tree, no. Yeah, she told him to. Kill someone to save them. Damn. Yeah. And this is where he left. Okay, so. Yeah, so these guys know what's going on. These four. Alright. Okay, that's better. I thought he was like going fully solo. But this is way better than I thought initially. Okay. Okay, this is way better, all right. All right. Okay, so uh, the situation looks a lot better than I expected because I actually expected in the previous episode when he was like, oh, I'm leaving, that he's going to like go full solo. And I was like, how is this going to be productive? Because if he goes full solo, like, it'll be more difficult and they can probably pick him up, uh, pick him out, like, you know, one by one. And then they're going to just target his friends. But since uh, these four are actually helping him out. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's way better of a situation because these guys have ties to UA and they can get the information and probably help Midoriya with that. And uh, Midoriya will not completely be... Like, you know, like, without any leads or anything, he will know what to do and when to do, you know, because, yeah, like, there are people who are helping him who has ties with UA still. And that's the best thing. And obviously, he's not going to, like, you know, he, he told his friends that, oh, I'm going solo, so that they don't try to track him down. And in, like, you know, in that process, get involved in this mess. That is why. So he said, like, oh, I'm going full solo to them. However, these four, they are, like, helping him out from... 
uh, the background, which is which is a good thing, obviously. Okay, is that it? Yeah. So, in this episode, we begin with uh, the letter from uh, Midoriya and uh, yeah, uh, you know, everyone reads it and they're like, they realize that Deku has left UA and uh, okay, so now Deku sees some villain is attacking and that was, that was muscular obviously and that is why he went there. And then we go back a little bit and see what happened up until the arrival of muscular. So these two, Yo and uh, Tatami, I think that was her name, uh, these two, uh, they are on their way to help out people, uh, not help people, but like, you know, like a few people are kind of just holed up in a place and they need to evacuate, however, they're not evacuating and that is why they are supposed to go there and convince them. So they go there and these guys, they're like, oh no, we are not going to move from here because what were you guys doing up until now? Now, okay, so here's the thing. Uh, like, I don't know how they got the, like, oh boy. Like, this is one thing that I'm, I'm baffled about is that I'm sure these guys have seen the villains and these guys have seen the heroes and how they fight, you know, how crazy the battles become. So, it's actually so surprising that they, they even thought that they could actually do something themselves like yeah obviously they have the support items you know like we know that however like like just have a look at, have a look, just look at muscular <laughs> just look at him you think any support item will work on him and when the heroes are struggling as well like yeah and it's, it's basically desperation i'm guessing like you know when when you're desperate they can you do some stupid stuff and these guys were probably like oh like i don't we don't need any heroes they uh, they're not helping they ran away and uh, which is also something probably not these guys but if you think about it is the people did that like there's two factors in why the heroes ran away and why heroes are retired the first reason is definitely they you know you, you saw that episode where he went where there's this one uh, hero who saw everything happening like all of them heroes getting attacked and them dying and he was like i'm going to leave this profession i'm not going to I'm not, I'm not going to be in here. I, I can't be, like, I'm, I'm, I'm too stressed. And he decided to resign. That was the first reason. That's the first reason why people are resigning, why heroes are resigning, because they think that, obviously, their own life is obviously in danger. And uh, seeing how, uh, like, you know, like, things are so crazy, they, they, don't, they don't think they can, like, you know, like, carry on with this. Like, everything's just crushing them. And you can realize how much All Might was such a huge pillar. Like, up until now, heroes were still there, you know. Heroes were also fighting, heroes were also helping them out. However, we need to remember that All Might was the biggest pillar out of all of them. Like, like All Might was that guy who made everything so nice so that the other, like, you know, heroes could just do their own thing without extra stress. Like, All Might was that uh, one, you know, like, if, if I take a, like, in a video game example, was that one over-leveled person, for example, level 100, uh, like, you know, teammate, who always accompanied the level 20 teammates in the boss battles and stuff, and he used to take care of all the crazy stuff, while <laughs> the level 20, like, you know, characters, they used to take care of the smaller, like, you know, like, uh, enemies, and, uh, you know, they used to fight crime like that. That was the thing. As soon as All Might toppled, you know, these guys have been slapped with reality now. They realize how difficult it is to fight villains and how life-threatening is it is. Up until now, it was just like a, oh, I'm a hero, you know, like that type of thing. They just did it like, you know, you know casually. There was no uh, sense of, uh, urge, like, you know, sense of, uh, what's that word? Uh, like, a, like life and death threat. None of that. Like, I'm, I'm not talking about the top heroes. I'm talking about the lower heroes, you know, the heroes in the lower part once like uh, for example the local heroes i'm talking about i'm not talking about the top heroes like best genies and all they knew what it is to fight a life and death situation i'm not talking about them the lower heroes the local heroes they were just like oh like you know like i'm a hero i'm going to help people yes what a nice thing and there was like five robbers they defeated those robbers and they're like yes you know like i've done a good job and that was their whole like you know like 
a duty. That's all they would used to do. They had no clue what All Might was, you know, like um, how much All Might was a huge support, how he was just protecting all of these people so that they can just play around in the little like, you know, uh, thing uh, without thinking much. And All Might used to take care of all the bigger villains and like and all the like crazy things who have who were like, like Shigaraki, Muscular and all of them, he used to take care of them. And he was like an umbrella, like protecting everyone. And they, like, you know, these heroes, these local heroes were just playing a little, like, you know, stuff. Like, on very low level, like, you know, battles they were going through. But now All Might is gone. And all the things that he used to protect them from as an umbrella is falling on them. And they're like, what the hell is going on here? I don't want to be a hero anymore. And they're leaving. That's the first reason. Another reason is also another, definitely another reason. You know, that is, you remember uh, the washing machine hero? I, f I don't remember his name. However, you saw how he was just being, like, you know, like, stuff were being thrown at him and everything. And he was like, uh, like, you know, like, he, he just wanted to help. And these people are just, like, you know, throwing stuff at her and just insulting him and everything. Uh, so he was like, oh, uh, like, you know, like, uh, what, how can I help if people don't accept my help? That is the second reason why heroes are leaving. Imagine, like, you know... Like, definitely all these local heroes are scared. They know that they can die. This is like a life and death situation now that All Might is not here and the top heroes are gone. So, they're scared. But, out of all the people who are not resigning because they have the sense of justice, imagine with that, like, you know, like, you know, like, with that fear of, like, oh, I can die anytime. Even with that fear, uh, they're still going to help people out and the people throw, like, you know, st stuff at you. Insulting you and saying that oh you you're why are you here this late? What are you do is doing you guys are worthless imagine that so yeah, that's the like the last straw Obviously after that I'm pretty sure a lot of people after getting that reception they left they decided to resign So these people blaming them for not coming in time and helping them out is ironic because it is Obviously not the same set of people, but it is these people that are, have been making the situation so much more difficult. And uh, I'm not, like, you know, obviously you can see that these people are also nice people. You know, like when, when uh, uh, Yo was in trouble, they decided to help him out. However, is, is the, the situation and the, like, you know, like the, the whole scenario and how everything is going that is influencing them into making these stupid decisions is and thinking that, oh, we don't need heroes, we can handle it ourselves. But either way, um, yeah, that's the whole thing now. And this is, you can, you can see how much All Might was actually a symbol of, uh, like, you know, peace, like the pillar of peace. Now that he's gone, like, oh boy, people are not, like, you know, they are, they are, they are very much struggling. And... I can imagine, like, remember All Might used to talk about how uh, there was like one episode in the previous season, I think, where All Might, uh, you, you saw the flashback when All Might went to Nana and said that we need a symbol of peace and uh, I will become that symbol of peace so that, you know, like people have hope. In that time, now what's happening now is something that probably was happening there as, then as well. And All Might was the one who, after becoming the symbol of peace, was able to stop everything. And here, in season 1, episode 1, the world we see in front of us is basically because All Might became this symbol of peace. Everything was so peace and quiet, even though there were, like, you know, occasional villains coming now and then, you know, uh, heroes fighting them. But All Might was the big pillar supporting everything. And uh, before All Might, it was, it was probably this, now, what's happening now is probably something that, that was happening then as well. Like villains, like committing crimes, like, you know, just doing like some crazy stuff. People who are awakening works, a lot of them going into villainy and just attacking people and everything. I'm sure that was happening then. And that is why All Might decided to become the symbol of peace. Because they need a symbol of peace, looking at whom everyone will be like, oh, this guy is here, we are safe. And looking at whom, the villains will be like, oh, these guys are here, we are screwed. We shouldn't try to mess with the people. That was all right. And now that he's gone, everything is gone. People have, have just reduced into chaos now again, and just everything's just going crazy. And with uh, all for one, um, just making the situation even worse. 
and the end of a scandal making it even even worse like everything's like just when it rains it pours you know everything's just coming down at the same time and yeah this is this is chaos and uh, yeah that's what's going on here either way these people were at first they were like oh no we are not going to take like you know help from you guys you guys uh, don't come and you guys have left you're not helping us uh, we trust ourselves more than heroes now uh, we see yo was trying to convince them <laughs> however they were not listening to him at all and they're like yeah you guys go home you know, we don't need your help and yo we we seen yo is kind of like you know in his head his <laughs> you know his inner feelings come out it's like these guys i could have i could have just just toppled this whole building down by vibrating it uh, but you know like uh, while they were thinking of all of that um tatami gets a phone call and uh, yeah mm, someone's coming towards their direction now at first i thought it was the nomus and i'm like oh damn the nomus are here and then i saw muscular and i'm like oh god this is even worse and uh, yeah muscular was there so in no way can you can these guys defeat muscular like it's kind of impossible uh however you know like we did get to see that yo did cause a little bit of damage by the end of it uh which kind of helped Med uh, midoriya in the long run uh, either way um uh, yo was like oh tatami go and go to the people and uh, you know like let, let me take uh, stall him and tatami goes and tries to stop them and they're like oh you leave like you know like we will take care of this ourselves and i'm like what are you even saying have you seen that guy you think you can take care of that that thing and <laughs> Anyways, um, we see, uh, you know, like Yo being like completely crushed, and I'm pretty sure that the people realized here after watching that that yeah, we we can't take care of this guy; it's impossible, and that's why they stopped. So muscular is like you know like grabbing him, and uh, Yo was like, okay, like you know, like I'm I'm going to show you my actual like you know uh, power, and he he keeps vibrating the like you know the muscles, and uh, he he was getting affected a little bit, however. Muscular is just like, oh, I'm just going to bring in new layers of muscles on me. So yeah, there you go. Problem solved. And uh, he was like going to crush him completely. And I was thinking, who's going to come here? And then, uh, you know, Deku comes in. And I'm like, oh yeah, obviously Deku, like, you know, we saw him just watching the, that part. So he definitely is the one who's going to come here because he's the closest. So yeah, he comes in, and at first I didn't realize what that purple smoke was. I, I, I was actually, I don't know, I thought like he was using some gadget or something. <laughs> but yeah, turns out it's one of the other quirks he has. So he, he comes in, and uh, you know, with a smoke screen, and saves Yo. And uh, as soon as he comes in, Muscular instantly recognized him, and Muscular's like, Oh, you're here, yes! I can I, I I got a real great thrill before and he explains about it. He's like, oh, it's not revenge or anything, you know, uh, Midori. I don't have anything, any of those stuff against you. Uh, it's it's just that I I feel so so happy fighting you. You know, it's like a rush of like you know uh, like you know like excitement. That's why I'm I'm so happy to see you. And he's just blabbering about these things, you know, and uh, yeah, so. Deku's like Deku uh, grabs uh, takes Yo and takes him to Tatami, uh, and while he was like you know moving, we see uh, four oh, number four was it number four? Who was the? Just a minute. Okay, just a minute. He says, "Was that too much? You have gone past your controllable limit." You've used too much smoke screen. Um, okay. Is he number four? Or oh, probably not. Okay. Um, most of our quirks aren't ultimate moves on our own. Um, you're thinking too much of our quirks. Think of the quirks as tools. Okay, um, and I don't exactly remember, but no, I don't think he's number four. Was he number five? I don't remember anything. Anyways, you know, whatever number he was, uh, you know, that guy, uh, he, he comes out and he's like telling Deku about the whole situation and how their quirks are not like ultimate moves on their own think of them as tools and use them now here's the thing um 
it is true you know like all these quirks if you think about it they're like what can i say like nothing so crazy like like just think about it i feel like all my power like you know like the the super like you know strength that one is probably like the what can i say like the most powerful one like i don't know like no one thing i'm thinking now that now you know what there's a few questions that's coming in in my head i i don't know if they explained this but the first question that's coming in in my head is like all might was quirkless so how like like uh, one for all is supposed to be the collection of powers isn't it and it's going to like you know be more stronger and stronger every generation that type of thing so it's a collection of quirks so since all might was quirkless after getting that quirk how did he get the quirk of super strength you know the the quirk of him getting immense strength and like you know the 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 smash that she does like you know the the uh, detroit smash and all that how did he get that power was there any person before him that had that power otherwise like shouldn't he have the quirks or was it like a mutation since he's quirkless you know like and uh, he isn't able to use the individual quirks of his predecessors it just mutated into something and gave him this unique power new power which was the power that he was using that is super strength like this is one question i'm thinking about now like since all might was quirkless how did he get this power was this a power from one of the predecessors or is it something new because it's like a mixture of all of them I don't know this is one question I'm thinking about here anyways uh, moving on from that um uh yeah uh, what what I was talking about I'm saying that if you think about it all these quirks are kind of kind of very basic stuff isn't it like for example um just think about it a uh, smoke screen for example like yeah obviously it can help you out in a lot of situation but if it's just a normal smoke screen I feel like as for a quirk it's very weak if you think about it isn't it uh at the same time um danger sensing obviously danger sensing is a lot better like you know obviously than smoke screen however here's the thing even if you can sense danger if you don't have the capability of stopping it or you know like uh dodging it it won't work so you need to train your own body as well which is the thing that he did you know he kind of explained it in the previous episode where he said like i went to the mountains and started training that's the thing like uh, danger sensing is obviously very useful however you also need to have the capability of your own body to stopping that danger or dodging it so that's another thing another one is uh, the black whip and i feel like black whip is a lot more versatile and a lot more useful than smoke screen but it's still a very basic power isn't it like you you're able to make like you know whips and just swing around and grab stuff that type of thing so all these quirks individually are like very basic stuff you know however uh it is true as they say if you combine all of them at the same time you can do something crazy with it. and that's what you saw here you know like uh nana's float deku used and then all the other quirks he used like you know in mixture and he was able to easily defeat muscular uh but if you think about it individually all these quirks are like very basic stuff and uh, in no way po- is it possible for using these quirks individually and becoming someone as strong as all might so that is the thing so all might's superpowers a super strength is something i'm not exactly sure how he got it because i don't i'm not exactly sure if any one of the his predecessors had it and that's why he got it or is it like a completely new thing but out of all of these all might's power is the strongest if you think about it and that is exactly why all might was able to become the symbol of peace because he had the power to back him up obviously uh like it's like just think about uh, the guy with the smoke screen could he have become the symbol of peace you know obviously he could have the same conviction as all might however you know like you need like i said you need the strength to back it up he won't be i doubt he would be able to become a symbol of peace using the smoke screen only it's kind of impossible if you think about it even if you train your body and everything no but all might yeah you can see him becoming the symbol of peace with his strength 
So that's the thing. That is what I was saying. I was saying like, and it feels like All Might is the one whose quirk individually is something that could be extremely strong. However, all these pre predecessors quirk, they are like, like what can I say? Like specialized stuff, like smoke screen, danger sensing, whip. You know, like specialized things. So individually, they are not as powerful. But if you combine them, obviously they'll be strong. That type of thing, you know. So. Uh, yeah, that was just something that I was just thinking. Anyways, um, so uh, uh, he, he explains to Deku that um, uh, the amount of power you have is the maximum because you're the ninth successor. I think that's what he says. And that is why it's the hardest for you to control it. Um, okay, uh, that is why you should pull back here. Uh, most of our quirks are... Okay, there you go. That's what he says. And he says like you, you're kind of going crazy with the smoke screen. So just, you know, like... Try to tone it down. Now, after that, uh, Deku, like I said, as he said, use these quirks as a tool. They're not strong individually, but you can do some crazy stuff all together. And here you go. As you can see, uh, it is true. Individually, these quirks are very simplistic quirks and nothing too strong. But then, what Deku is, does is, he says like muscular can withstand smash at 100%. And uh, that's why he needs to do something different here. He, he brings out the smoke screen, kind of making Muscular not able to see him. Okay, seven. Uh, the smoke screen is the seventh power. No, wait, just a minute. Oh no, seventh is um, Nana. Oh, sixth is smoke screen, yeah. Seventh is Nana's power, which is float. So he uses smoke screen, floats. Okay, uh, he used the smoke screen to narrow the vision to get him to see where he's going. And then he dan senses danger. Muscular is coming towards him. That's fourth power. Danger sense perception to really reinforce your prediction. And then he uses fifth's back whip, black whip. And puts him inside the water. There you go. As you can see, after using them in combination, he can do some crazy stuff. Individually, they're not that strong, but if used together, you can do a lot of things. Now, muscular is like, oh, like you know, these tricks you're using, and he's still uh, like you know, grabbing him by using the black whip. And muscular starts talking to Midoriya, and he's like, oh, let's go full brawl, like you know, like out, like let's do a full brawl out, like let's go all out. Okay. So Midoriya asks him, like, why are you doing this? You know, was there not any other paths? And in his head, he's thinking, like, maybe if there was any other path, what happened to this guy that he's like this now? But like I said, uh, yeah, something definitely happened to change him into a, the monster he is now. But at the same time, uh, you know, like, now he's irredeemable. You, I don't think you can change him. Like, he doesn't seem like a person who would change his ways after getting therapy. <laughs> I doubt that. So yeah, he's not going to change. I, it, I'll be extremely surprised if he actually changes by the end. But I don't think that's going to happen. This guy, muscular at least, is not going to change. So yeah, you need to actually uh, capture him and give him to the police and, uh, you know, like, like take some drastic steps. So Deku asks him, like, Goto Imasuji, was there no other path? And uh, he's like, oh no, I just have fun with this, you know, this is exciting to me. And uh, he, he kind of expands his muscles, you know, and, uh, and he starts talking to Midoriya, starts telling him that, oh, like, you know, this is the best for me, like, you know, like, I love this thing, I'm not going to, like, you know, stop doing this, this and that, you know, all these things. All right. All right, so now we see Muscular's muscles start tearing apart and he's like what's going on here so the spaces between the extra layers of muscles muscles whose power has been used up should peel off or be peeled off a guy like you who hates tactics jumped down to a lower floor on purpose is it because something's wrong with how those layers of muscles feel and he remembers the vibration did you train with vibrate without without notice and there you go it was it was basically Yo's power that kind of made the muscles kind of tear apart. So, 
Obviously, since the muscles are like, you know, kind of toned down a little bit, it became way easier for Midoriya to get him. And that's why he was able to defeat him, not using 100% of his power, but a mere 45% of his power. He goes in quickly and uh, one for all full cowling, 45% uh, impact. Um, was Detroit Smash, there you go. And there you go, Muscular is gone. Over. And uh, yeah, so basically Yo, Yo was the one who was able to bring his like, you know, power 45, 50% uh, down, 55% down. And that's why uh, Midori was able to just end this with 45%, 40% of his power. And uh, yeah, and he cannot use 100%, otherwise the, the protective gear is going to be, you know, like, it's going to get malfunctioned, so, which worked out pretty nicely. Uh, so, okay, now after that, uh, we see these two heroes, um, Boomerang Man and Mr. Smith. You know, they're going towards uh, Yo's position, and uh, they see, like, you know, Midoriya taking uh, Muscular and going away, jumping away. And Tatami's like, oh, I wanted to thank him, but then, you know, like, the, the other guys come in. Uh, the, the civilians and they're like like obviously we don't want him to get hurt you know like it's just that the, the situation now is messing with us as well so let us help him out and we see yo kind of realized it was deku like you know he's like oh why is he like it was that him but he doesn't look or feel like him at all now midoriya uh delivers muscular to the police and he's like oh take care of them uh you have iron maidens here don't you so after that Midoriya goes out and uh, we can see that All Might is calling in and here is where I realized that yeah he's not working full solo he's actually working with All, all Might and, uh, and what is even better is that not only All Might but all the others like th uh, other three Endeavor, Hawks and Bell's Genius are also kind of connected with him so that is why I'm like alright you know what okay this situation which I thought was quite uh, problematic because Deku going full solo is kind of kind of a concern uh it's not as problematic as i think it is it is okay now you know like at least he's in in touch with these people who are in touch with ua so he's not going full solo he's just he's just making others think in the uh you know in the school that oh i'm i'm go acting solo so that uh the villains don't try to target them they'll try to target deku and he's also keeping in mind deku that I shouldn't stay with All Might too long, just in case the villains attack me. So he's also keeping that in mind as well. Like, as we saw, he, he just rushed away later on, because he felt that the villains might try to target him, and that's why he left All Might there, just so that he doesn't get involved. And there you go. Okay, uh, Midoriya comes in, and uh, All Might is like, oh, are you okay? Your arms and legs? And he's like, oh, it's fine. <coughs> Compression support items you order from the US. Helped him out. Uh, mid gauntlets work really well, all right. And uh, test samples of an endurance item. Uh, this provides support all over your body, but they cannot withstand hundred percent of your power. There you go. And uh, don't go overboard. So there you go. That that's the whole thing. And Deku's like, you know, like okay. <laughs> uh, this is a little funny part here where. The phone call comes in <laughs> and Deku's like, it's a silver, special silver age edition. <laughs> okay, so, okay, so All Might is talking with Hawks and he's like, oh, is Midoriya okay? And he's like, oh, fine. And here I realize, oh, he's not only working with All Might, but they're also informed about it. But it's fine. So he feels danger and Deku immediately leaves. Obviously, he doesn't want All Might to get involved in it. There you go. He doesn't want the others to get caught up into it. That's why he left to go to the films himself. Okay. Now, Hawk says, we have, a, uh, like he said, we have a better chance of winning if we make the first move to find them. Uh, it's a hard position. Okay. So, there you go. So, this is the plan. His plan is to, like, distance himself from... The, from UA and uh, what he's going to do he's going to strike Shigaraki before he's able to strike him because the, the thing I said if he actually waited for Shigaraki to get him that'd be more troublesome because like I was saying Shigaraki can easily like you know, if Deku is actually going solo Shigaraki can actually 
pick him up out using all the villains like gang up on him and defeat him and then they'll just ch change target after taking care of Deku to UA which is kind of going to make this whole situation counterproductive and Deku's plan fail completely you know it won't work however what Deku's trying to do is for the time being he's trying to distance himself from UA but not completely going solo working with All Might and all of them getting more information and will strike Shigaraki before he gets chance to strike him so that is how this is his plan you know so Shigaraki is now not going to get try to go to UA and hurt his friends because his focus will be on Deku unless and until Deku falls he's not going to put his uh, like, you know uh, his sights on UA so UA is safe here at least for now everyone will try to get Deku so before they try to get Deku Deku is going to try to get them so that if Deku is able to defeat Shigaraki before he's able to come to him, you know, he'll be able to catch him off guard and defeat him and obviously everyone in UA will be safe. So that's his plan, like he's distancing himself, working with a small little group and then attacking before they are able to attack him. So now that I think about it, this situation is a little advantageous towards Deku, not completely disadvantageous, like I said, since he's working solo, he can actually be more, uh, uh, what's that word? We'll have more uh, versatility yeah that's the word uh he'll be he'll be walking solo he's not with a full group and he can easily just slip in here and there and try to catch them off guard okay now now we go back a little bit earlier and we see what happened uh, in the hospital and we see inko asking uh, the uh, like you know the the doctor as to what's going on and the doctor says that oh like you know before it was actually uh, you know, like his in, in his inner like, you know, body got like a whole explosion thingy, but it's not that serious now. You know, his outer and the inner, like, you know, like his outer body has become strong. I think that's what he says. He says, like, even if it's the same injury, it seems your body was is different this time. Uh, so, yeah, there you go. So, basically, I think his training kind of worked out. You know, it kind of gave us, like, you know, results. Him strengthening his body. Okay, you know what? Let me read this. He kind of gives a technical explanation. Apparently, you had a serious, you had serious injuries in the past and faced the possibility of not being able to use your arms anymore. Um, but it's fortunate that these injuries are different. Uh, unlike the previous injuries, these seemed to ex that seem to explode from within. This time, the explosions seem to escape outside of the body. On top of that, your quirk seem to be able to reinforce your body from the inside out so nothing was shattered in this time the full cowling uh, even with the same injuries it seems your body was different this time okay there you go but uh, still your condition is worsening you should be careful there you go so basically yeah he's better than before even though he used his power so using full cowling not only that using the support items and you know like training his body everything kind of paid off which is good obviously now we get to see now Inko asks uh, uh, you know All Might what's going on because yeah she doesn't know what's going on she knows that All Might is like his teacher but she doesn't know the she doesn't know the reason why like you know like why this is happening why the villains are targeting Deku so yeah All Might tells everything to her obviously the quirk and everything and Inko knows everything now so she's like oh like um so he's being targeted by bad people now and. All Might says like, oh, yeah, but we'll take care of that, you know, UA, we're increasing our security, this and that, and but Deku's like, no, I'm not going back to UA, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be trying to isolate myself just in case they don't get involved in my mess, and now Inko's obviously, like, you know, very scared, she's like, oh no, what, what's going to happen then, but Deku says like, oh, you, you said thank you to me, you, you supported me, and uh, yeah, don't worry, I'll be, I'll be back soon, I'll come back and uh, after taking care of this situation and all might remembers that he promised Deku's mom that he'll like you know like protect him and everything but he's like oh i cannot do anything now but then all might is like all right you know what you're going solo i'm also going to cooperate with you because this is also my responsibility as well like even w whatever you say i am going to cooperate with you like you're not going full solo so uh he he like you know, calls uh, uh, best genius and uh, hawks and endeavor and tells them about it 
and uh, uh, yeah, they they also join in in this little group. So later on, Deku goes to uh, Gran Torino, talks about Nana and uh, Gran Torino, gives a very important uh, like you know like statement here. He says like you know sometimes saving someone actually means to kill. Like, no, what, what did he actually say? Killing someone is also another way to save them. I think that's what he says. Just a minute. Um, don't be too stubborn. There are times when you need to kill someone to save them. There you go. Which is true, you know. True. If they've gone too far, if they, have, they are in such a place that they are no way will be able to come back, it's just to save them, you might need to defeat them or kill them. And, uh, yeah. Anyways, um... So he's like, yeah, don't like, you know, don't be too stubborn in your like, you know, thing. Just look at that situation and decide what you gotta do. And uh, no matter what you decide to do, um, go settle things with the League of Villains. And yeah, Deku is ready. Deku goes outside, and if our best genius Hawks and All Might is waiting, and uh, yeah, he 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 started his solo little group. Of, like he's, he's working solo however he is in touch with all might and all of them which is good so yeah there you go that was it and uh, yeah like i said this situation is way b better than i thought i was actually thinking he's going full solo but thank god that's not happening because i feel like that would have brought in a fair share of problems than it would have solved them so not going full solo is a is a good decision and uh, yeah at least He's involved with the people who are involved with UA, so he'll go get help. And if, like, you know, if something crazy happens, the heroes can come to help him out. There you go, that is it. That was my reaction to episode number uh, 19 of My Hero Academia season 6. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button. And subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed. Comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know, and I'll check them out. That is it, guys. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys um, next week with another episode of My Hero Academia. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.